the final video about my power supply that can deliver uh, between uh, 0 and approximately 110 volts DC. There are many videos about this power supply and I will give the links in the text box. The latest video was this video <coughs> about the uh, ventilator that was useful used to cool the uh, power Darlington. It's a classical series regulator uh, with all the problems and also with all the good properties anyway. So now I'm testing it and uh, I'm testing it of course with the load that I more or less always show in my videos that's here. Uh, four automotive lamps each of uh, 12 volts 21 watt in series so no LEDs classical old school incandescent lamps that's a good load for such a situation anyway uh, here is the front of that power supply and of course the ventilator plays a very big role and especially on the highest current uh, uh, and at the same time a uh, substantial high voltage that could be very high and then I mean eight, 80 volts approximately at say uh, 1 ampere 2 ampere or so so let's see what happens and so also interesting is this that I will give the output <coughs> on the oscilloscope and of course when the current gets high and the say a smoothing capacitor the smoothing effect of the circuit is not ideal you will see the ripple and I've used a voltage doubler in this uh, power supply that also has an effect on the end ripple and of course that ripple that that present on the output uh, also is uh, directly related to the current that the circuit gives so I will set now the output voltage Here it is on, say, a situation where we have the protective resistor here inserted and that protective resistor limits the current and it also limits the ripple. So we have here this uh, lamp. It's an halogen lamp that's used as a kind of protective resistor and when I lift up the output you will surely see that the say at the output we we have a kind of shortcut in the form of these four lamps and this uh, resistor now takes up the heat all uh, of course according to Ohm's law and that was also in an earlier video well of course when we uh, lift up the output voltage <coughs> that means that also the current goes higher in this case it's an Ohm's circuit we can see surely here that a ripple also gets up and Perhaps this is a kind of strange oscillation, but anyway, it's on a very low level. And I've talked about it earlier. Anyway, uh, well, the most important thing is, of course, when we shortcut the protective resistor 
and give this power supply its maximum output. What happens then? Uh, let's see. Lift up now the output voltage and the output current. You can see that the, the load lights up very fierce. That's normal, by the way, completely normal. Maximum current, maximum voltage. And interesting to see is that the, the ripple also goes up very, very substantially. Though, in fact, it's not on a very high level here. 0 0.2 volt on the scale, so approximately uh, 0 0.6 volt given this output lot say approximately uh, one ampere at 80 volts approximately the ampere scale tells us that we have to multiply it by two so 800 milliampere at 80 volts that's a lot of energy and of course um, the ripple will go up when we go to the maximum output voltage. And that's showed now. Very fierce here. Uh, 75 volts at approximately 1.4 ampere or so. And Interesting is to show the ripple. That ripple is, of course, directly related to the uh, output energy. Kind of distorted 50 Hz sine wave, but anyway, has everything to do with the fact that I used a voltage doubler and how the whole circuit was made with that Darlington, etc. etc. No problems with that. And well, it was more or less all that I wanted to show. Uh, I bring down here now the voltage to a, a lower level and the current, of course. Let's see what happens with the ripple. So there's a kind of critical moment here when the voltage goes to it, its real maximum. When the ripple is substantial, but when we go somewhat back here, there's no ripple. <coughs> and that means that this uh, voltage supply can be used for audio power uh, amplifier experiments. Say, uh, in such a case, you can need 80 volts at uh, 500 milliampere or so. And this power supply can deliver that energy. And that was the original aim of making this power supply. I wanted to do more experiments with transistor circuits, uh, especially audio amplifiers uh, in the, say, approximately 60 watt or 70 watt uh, output range. And of course that can be done in many ways with a double power supply. That's the uh, say the solution that is more or less always used, say a positive of 30 volts and a negative of uh, 30 volts and a zero in between. And in that case you have a 60 volts that's available to drive a loudspeaker, an audio amplifier or whatever. Very good idea by the way, but in general uh, I'm not uh, very fond of these double power supplies <coughs> and and I'm not very fond of these uh, double audio power supplies especially when there is no end capacitor to drive the loudspeaker anyway a C to drink audio technology etc etc and well this is more or less the final video of this experiment. Thanks for watching.
put on all the lights now and say the interesting thing is indeed the ripple and now we have a ripple one volt say it's 0 0.5 volts ripple uh, in this situation 80 volts and approximately 500 milliampere so that's not much ripple and the ripple can also be cured in the audio power supply so that's a kind of second stage where we can say move out all the hum uh, coming out of the power supply anyway thanks for watching